Hey folks, Quilly King here and welcome back to more Day of the Diver. In this dive, we are going to be trying to return the coral porch to Ramo, the sea person. And, you know, just generally do some fishing as well would be a pretty good idea. Um, so without, so without, yeah, we'll get a underwater scooter to start ourselves off with. That seems like a great idea. Dive! Do, 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 do. We can make pass, uh, pass through the uh, limestone caves again, pick up some more sea grapes. That would be swell. I'm wondering if I should be going with the dart gun, though. It's such good value, the dart gun. It'll let us capture the jellyfish. Yeah, I'm kind of, uh, kind of regretting. Not, uh, I can't, I can't go after you. Not diving with them. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get one out of here. Oh, we'll get a poison harpoon tip. Still an upgrade, so we'll take it. We still have to go and boop these guys for one of our missions. Oh! We could sleepy things with the toy hammer. Seriously? So I think we're getting them in one hook now, which is nice. But if we can actually get on top of fish. Oh! Actually, it could probably work for these jellyfish. Yeah! Sleepy. Ow. That's great. I woke you up. All right, I can't spam it too much because the second hit will we actually wake them up, which is no good. It is? Yeah, baby. Okay. Now, see, what what is it that I don't have there? Well, I guess I did run through my scooter, so if it does turn out it is the scooter, then I still don't have it. Oh, spinny, spinny, spin. It's like the easiest minigame. And yeah, no, I would actually hate it on the controller because I hate making that motion on a controller stick. Okay, I gotta make sure to not like grab too many things here. So now we have a scooter. Maybe I should leave a charge and just test. Although there's the graphic doesn't match. I think it's like a stand mixer or a blender or something. Some sort of pulverizer thing. Oh. All right. I thought I was gonna go and beat you with a squeaky toy to finish you off. Um, disassemble that. Grab this bone. Now we did take some damage. We don't currently have a source of more oxygen. Try to save that, even though there's no way that's what that is. Part of me is still tempted to check. Maybe I already did test it. I don't remember. Oh, another scooter. All right, well then, let's burn through this one. What if I can squeaky you? All right. Yeah, but I, mean, I could always just loot you. Still, a nice three-star barracuda has got to be a good thing. Um, you are considerably more dangerous. Dodged! I don't know if I can squeaky toy you. I might just be losing too much. Okay. By killing you with a harpoon, it should leave you at a two-star, I think. Yeah, there we go. Whereas I think if I killed you with the gun, then you would have gone down to one star. Maybe it doesn't apply with the big fish. Hey, the squeaky hammer is still hilarious, though, obviously. Um, all right. That's a trigger bomb, which I do find quite tricksy to use since it takes a while to deploy. I guess there's no reason not to carry it around for now. Oh, hello, Ned Gun. Yeah, let's grab you. We're gonna disassemble the level two sniper rifle. Okay. All right, into the blue hole depths. So we can 
Do some auction. There we go. Yeah. Don't hit me. Um, yeah. We need that. Have your porridge. I'll get the oxygen on the way out. Cutscene. Hello. Here, I brought some coral porridge. Oh, you brought it? Hmm, seems to be right. Oh, it's coral porridge. I prepared it myself. You jerk. <laughs> Yay! Phew, I feel so, I feel much better now. I can't remember anything after seeing squid tentacles. Ah, a human? What is a human doing here? Well, you could say I saved you. I defeated the giant squid and brought you the coral porridge. Hmm, is that so? Wait, Ramo, that's not it. I'm actually the one who... All right then, human, you shall escort me back to my village. Me? Why should I? I'm an injured lady. You need to keep anything dangerous from happening. I can escort you too. Oh, maybe I should have kept the uh, sniper rifle. Swamp, you go ahead and scout our path. What? How could you let a human escort you? I keep you safe and you haven't even passed the village tactics exam. It was tough enough coming here. Ah, sore spot for me. Swamp, stop complaining and be our lookout for the path ahead. As for you, human, you'll have to carry me on your back. On my back? It's hard enough to move around here down. Move around as it is down here. Oh, my injured fin is hurting again. You're impossible. I'll take you to the village and no further, all right? This is gonna count as being overweighted. How's our oxygen level? Get to the target location safely with Ramo on your back. Ramo has the ability to open up two worm paths. Oh, watch your surroundings carefully, escort her safely. Okay, so we don't have to use our UV light, I guess. Oh, I have to hold down the right click. Carry her. Okay, can I boost? No, I cannot boost. There's no little spacebar icon anymore. We got our O2 reloaded. And I guess um, Swam is not too far ahead on the radar, so we've got a good indicator. But I'm betting it's the place that we already know. Um, we've already seen that closed door that we couldn't get through. All right, hello. Oh, he's got to wait maybe for her to open the path. Although... You got through the first bit. Good, follow along. Make sure Ramo isn't hurt. I guess they all naturally have the ability to get through there. Looks like I can't go through here at full speed necessarily, or I might bump into them. Um, I don't have a little indicator on you anymore, but I think it was straight down to the right last time we were in this area. What? Oh. Oh, this is a vibration. Rare to experience one so strong. Did something happen to the village? Must return quick. Okay, I thought we were going to be attacked. I'm like, if I have to defend her and not die, we're going to have a bad time. And the shark. Oh shit, her health bar. What the? Okay, that's not working. Oh no! Restart. Restart from where? Okay, from this, which is not the most convenient, but okay. There's gonna be a fight. Um, I'm really upset I disassembled my sniper rifle because the net gun's not gonna help against that spot there. I don't know if I should check maybe the extra loot chests that we passed by because we might find a weapon that's more appropriate than the squeaky thing. Hmm. 
No, but you know what? I don't need the UV light anymore. I wonder if I just ditch her if they'll ignore her and fight me. Okay. Oh, I hate it when you... Oh, what? You've, you've got a def difficult boss fight. Oh, that's cool. We're going to make you do like um, a little tedious walking and then an unskippable cutscene. That's not going to get frustrating at all. Actually, more than one unskippable cutscene. Yep, that's annoying. Escape? Space bar? Click? Nope. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna stay near the top. Since I feel like the shark may be unavoidable. Well, speaking of, there you go. Eat poison. From her. Oh my god, almost dead. Drink the oxygen. Can't be hit again. There's another gun stash here. No! Get away from me! Oh, for crying out loud! <sighs> okay, who the frack decided that this whole bullshit was a good idea? Oh, hold on! What if I don't drag her to where the shark is, right? We get the earthquake thing. I just go on ahead uh, uh, by myself for a little bit. Assuming they don't start complaining that like, oh, you've left the princess too far behind. Bra, 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 bra. Is that, that's the flashlight here that I dropped and swapped last time. So it's not doing a full reset. That's actually really annoying. All right, stupid ass cutscene. Maybe that gun case will have another sniper rifle or something or anything. The triple shot, even the regular rifle will be useful. If this doesn't work this time, I could consider a give up so that we can repeat it, but with a different loadout, right? Not replace things with a net gun. Okay, so bring her down here. We're gonna get the cutscene. Somewhere around here. Okay. Okay. Just gonna move you out of the way over here. You sit there. Oh, the shark! Oh, it didn't reset the shark! Okay, well, that's at least something. Give me a useful weapon. Uh, that is a vastly upgraded poison tin. Only jerk face was here to help me out. Uh, I'm sorry, you were literally just down to the last... I mean, you've been sitting here poisoned the entire time, so maybe that kind of makes some sense. And you're damn right I'm going to take the shark meat with us. Princess just been killed while I was away. Okay, the fact that it didn't reset the shark's health definitely made that a heck of a lot more manageable. Although I think this strategy would have been sound this time around. I think I would have been okay with the thought of, hey, let's not drag the princess this way. I didn't realize we could just leave her parked in safety like that. That, yeah, dramatically changes everything. Still gonna want to avoid that crab. So I'm not entirely sure we were doing damage to it before with uh, the sniper rifle in a previous episode. We have now overweighted and hauling the princess. We're definitely not moving very quickly. Luckily, our auction situation's fine. Hey now, human. Don't tell me you're tired already. Bring her carefully. All right, jerk ass.
We're gonna avoid that crab. Yeah, we get to this door I couldn't get through before. Right? The no entrance. Be nice if the Universal Translator would translate the signs. I'm sorry, is that not where I'm supposed to be? Okay. I mean, we don't have a little indicator anymore, which I don't like. Oh, that's the explodey one. That's right, still explodes if we do that. I don't think it explodes if we put him to sleep. Even the netting may be not needed. Maybe once they start glowing, they're on a timer to explode regardless. Okay. The up arrow over here really makes me think we're going the wrong way. More up arrows. Uh, let, okay, I feel like I've got to go and poke at that, like, second time. Maybe I was standing in the wrong area. We're gonna run out of oxygen at some point before we deliver this freaking stupid princess. No, I don't know. Well, now I'm really upset that I'm carrying all this extra weight on me. Ah, uh, let's let's drop some. Because it's just taking way too long. I probably will have to drop that shark meat, unfortunately. It weighs a ton. There you go. I'm really unhappy about the lack of uh, best indicators here. At least I can get more oxygen. Oh, there we go. Finally spotted him again. More cat food. Another crab. It looks like I have to go up and over this thing. The shovel makes a better weapon than the squeaky toy. Oh. oh my god, it won't let me aim when the princess... Oh my god! That's... The princess overrides my right click, which is what's needed for aiming. That's really frustrating. If I had failed there, I would have been pretty salty. I'm still kind of salty. I suppose I can still... Well, I might need the flashlight to get back out. I'm expecting there'll be an escape thing right where we deliver the princess, and maybe it's here, actually. Ramo, this... Our path is blocked with rock! Ooh, yeah, that's bad. I guess that's what the earthquake was. Okay. Must have been the vibrations earlier. Swam, so think of something. I need to get back quick before my father scolds me even more. Hmm. Maybe we can open up a path by dropping the loose rock pile over there. If we can topple it and make it fall, it might just do the trick. It might work. How do we make rocks fall, though? Uh-huh. See a stake, maybe if we pull it out. That seems super dangerous. Oh, I'll hurt my hands with the gloves I'm wearing. Could probably do it with gloves that are thicker and offer better grip. Dave, my apologies. I left the microphone on because I was dying to know what you were talking about. If it's enhanced diving gloves you need, I think my lab could help you out. You gloves? Equipment goes hand in hand with exploration. Let's not come up to the boat. I think there must be a way. Could you wait here for a moment? Hold the human. You plan to leave Rama in a dangerous place like this? Luckily, she has me guarding her. Still be back quick. Oh, I'm not going to enjoy working my way all the way back down here. On the other hand, it will be nice to get the glove upgrade finally. I'm just gonna see about snagging something else before we go. Not really a lot of 
Fish down here. Because we got the net gun and everything, right? Oh, that good enough. Oh, that was a new fish. So we'll finally be able to pick up urchin too. Hmm. Unless he just tells me, oh, now go and dive for more ingredients. Like you couldn't told me that over the radio? Come on, dude. Road back to see people village, huh? How fascinating. My lab has developed some diving gloves to be used for retrieving artifacts. I see. That should help me pull at the stake without my hand slipping, right? Of course. As very safety measures built in, that'll let you move many other objects besides stakes. The long dive must have been tiring. Get some rest. I'll explain details tomorrow. Come to the boat tomorrow morning. All right. I propose we do another nighttime dive here for the purpose of getting some more eel. Even though it doesn't leave us much time for cooking. I don't think we'll do it tomorrow because we've got the uh, jellyfish party going on. Oh, I just realized we might want to be... Well, actually, you know, the sniper rifle might be okay just for the um, the eels. The last time we did this at night, I think there was a bunch of jellyfish and I was cursing maybe not having like a net gun or a trank gun, but... I don't think it's going to be a very long dive, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this stuff. Okay, I can't get that sea urchin yet. Good. I wanted a harpoon tip upgrade. Where's the aggro nighttime fish? Where are you all? Shock bang. Hmm. Well, there's you guys. I guess we don't have any more missions for you. We've got the right amount. I probably need to do some turn ins, though. Next, may shock you. Yeah, this is the uh, the white tip reef shark. This is the first shark we ever hunted. We had the special quest for it. Is this something lootable here? No. Hold on. Uh, I do want to get that ammo. Probably should have gone and got the ammo first. I think we're gonna backtrack here in a sec, but we'll see. An unlootable object. Okay, it is a dead end, but maybe worth it for some ingredients. <gasps> High quality cat food. There we go. Only the best for Momo. So looking for more eels, ideally. Okay, we got an escape thing there. We also get some more bullets. Um, I don't need to shoot you because I can just do this. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Go. Overpopulation, we need one more. That's a little antsy, because I just realized I really have to pee. I really need to do it before starting this episode. We might want to go down to where the currents are. No, no, there's more there's more territory over there. Alright. We'd feel a little more comfortable if we had an oxygen canister with us. not gonna that is a level three i don't like the reduced range there's a lot of bullets but it is nice to just be able to deal some damage from afar before we engage barracuda okay we got an escape thing grab the ingredients because some of these are really hard to get oh, it's common cat food okay Help and stuff. I don't know. I feel like we might be good on that. Uh, 
Am I too deep now for bear, um, for the moray eels? Am I wrong? Are we not diving at night? Pretty sure this is a night dive. Oh, orange starfish we still have as a quest, okay. Uh, that would be a decrease in raw damage, so let's just tear that apart. Oh, bone. I bet you I miss a lot of those. They don't they don't stand out to me. For whatever reason. Alright, that was a big shark. Fighting two things at once. I was gonna say, hold on. Oh, I thought it was a secret. Now I can line these guys up though. And the Barracuda. Stick doesn't do a lot of damage. It does fire very quickly. I don't have a lot of oxygen here. I'm having to use my uh, my sprint a little bit, which does use some oxygen, but certainly not as much as getting hit. where the sea people were because that's a much deeper section. O2 canister? No. It's a sensor bomb, so at least we, uh, I don't have to trigger those. Okay, and there's some oxygen here, which is good. And some ammo. Yeah, I was doing the night dive specifically for the moray eels. I'm thinking I should go back up because, I mean, I can't access the, uh, my Pokedex here, but I think they're within zero to 100 meters because deeper than that, we get a different kind of thing. I think that's gonna be, yep. yep. Scary, because I have to take my, my, my hands off the mouse to go and whack the keys for that. Okay, we got oxygen here. I'm really full right now. As well as more ammo. Maybe I should have grabbed the auction while it was there. Still have to pee very, very urgently. the sniper rifle? Does someone else have, like, another favorite weapon? I mean, obviously you've got to consider the, um, the dart gun and the net gun in a separate category. Right, 150 oxygen. Starfish we still need for the quest. I'll grab that oxygen on the way out of here. I'm sure we need this stuff for weapon upgrades. Yeah, I don't know about this dive, though. Not sure this is going to be the most productive nighttime dive. Got a little scooter. Don't mind if I do. All right. Keep the thing there, near to the surface. Fragments for weapons and stuff. Oh! Microfish. Oh, there we go, some oxygen. Um. You know what? This little scooter is nearly done, so we'll go ahead and loot that. I'm gonna keep the bombs, because we might use them. I don't need ammo yet. That's a dead end. Uh... Wow, 
God, you are tough. Oh, there you go. Dead and... Yeah, only worth one star, and now we're overweighted. I th Although, we're about to do the jellyfish party, so maybe I should keep the jellyfish. Eh, it might be time to consider just... Thing up, or no eel this time around, you know? Even though that is kind of disappointing. Oh, I need you. It's going to be my last one. That's, oh, come on. Like, I get annoyed when... Oh, I didn't do that pattern right. I get annoyed when, like, I know visually how far it goes, but that doesn't count as a hook. There we go, five of five. There right, you. Oh, can't do the urchin. Do this. I think we'll just end up swimming up. We're, we're quite near the surface here. So we'll just leave that way. No eels. I have the sad. I mean, it's not that we didn't get a whole bunch of good stuff. We certainly did. Um, go deliver, deliver, and finish this completely. All right, folks, we're going to put a cut in here. Thanks a lot for watching another episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.